Hey guys, Hot Rod 8 here, and welcome back to my new support item mini series. One of the biggest issues I see with players in all ranks, but especially bronze through gold, is that everyone builds the exact same items in each game and never changes it up. Depending on your AD carry, your overall team comp, and the enemy's team comp, your items should be changing from game to game, and that is what I'm here to help you with. We've already covered the enchanter items, tank items, utility slash miscellaneous tank items, and the starter items. And as the weeks go on, we'll touch up on AP caster items, with today hitting up on the boot items. Finally, all the items will be timestamped in the description and in the comments below. So without further ado, let's get started. Getting into the boot items list is Ionian Boots of Lucidity, which costs 900 gold and gives 10% cooldown reduction, 45 movement speed, and reduces your summoner spell cooldowns by 10%. Now, Boots of Lucidity's best strength is the cooldown reduction that comes with it, as almost every support greatly benefits from the extra cooldown reduction that it offers. It also reduces your summoner spell cooldowns too, which no other item does in the game. Finally, it's on the cheap side of boots compared to the defensive boots. Some of the weaknesses include zero defensive stats tied to the item, and no extra movement speed compared to the other boot choices. Overall, Ionian Boots Loose City should be bought when your champion needs cheap and easily accessible cooldown reduction, when you are reliant on your summoner spells being available, and when you don't require extra durability. Next is Boots of Mobility which costs 900 gold and gives 25 base movement speed and has increased to 115 movement speed when out of combat for at least 5 seconds. Now Boots of Mobility's best strength is its raw movement speed it can provide being out of combat, which is 60 higher than any other boots on this list. This extra movement speed is especially useful for champions who like to roam and who are required to initiate team fights and need the extra movement speed to catch up to enemies. Finally, it's on the cheap side of boots compared to the defensive boots. Some of the weaknesses include the lowest movement speed out of any boots on this list when in combat, and it has zero defensive stats tied to the item. Overall, boots of mobility should be bought when you need that extra roaming or engage this item provides, and when you don't require extra durability. Moving down the list is Boots of Swiftness, which costs 900 gold and gives 55 movement speed and reduces the effectiveness of slows by 25%. Now Boots of Swiftness's best strength is its raw movement speed it provides, whether in or out of combat, which is 10 higher than any other boots on this list, ignoring Boots of Mobility. It also reduces the effects of slows on your champion, so against certain champions like Nunu, who use the Law of Slows, it can be more effective than building tenacity. It also reduces the slows of your own abilities to yourself, such as when Pike charges up his Q. Finally, it's on the cheap side of boots compared to the defensive boots. Some of the weaknesses include no extra stats outside of movement speed, and it has zero defensive stats tied to the item. Overall, boots of swiftness should be bought when you need that extra bit of movement speed that you can use even when in combat, when your enemies have a lot of slowing abilities, and when you don't require extra durability. Next is Mercury's Treads, which costs 1100 gold and gives 25 magic resist, 45 movement speed, and gives you 30% tenacity. Now, Mercury Tread's best strength is the tenacity it gives you, as tenacity isn't easily obtained in any other way and can counter a lot of crowd control your enemies have. It also gives you magic resist, something that no other boot item gives. Some of the weaknesses include it being more expensive than the other boot choices and no extra movement speed compared to the other boot choices. Overall, Mercury Treads should be bought when your opponents either have a lot of crowd control or when your opponents have a lot of AP casters on their team that the magic resist can help against. Continued down the list is Ninja Tabby, which costs 1100 gold and gives 20 armor, 45 movement speed, and reduces all incoming basic attacks by 12%. Now Ninja Tabby's best strength is the armor it provides, as it's relatively easy to add some durability if the enemies either have a lot of AD champions or have an assassin that's building full lethality. The 12% reduction of basic attacks also really helps against AD carries and some junglers like Graves that are heavily reliant on auto-attacking for their damage output. Some of the weaknesses include it being more expensive than the other boot choices and no extra movement speed compared to the other boot choices. Overall, Ninja Tabby should be bought when your opponents either have a lot of AD champions on their team, when you're worried about getting bursted down by enemy assassins, or when the enemy team has multiple AD carries. 
Our final boot item is Sorcerer's Shoes, which costs 1100 gold and gives 45 movement speed and 18 magic penetration. Now, Sorcerer's Shoes' best strength is the magic penetration it provides, as there aren't many ways to get access to magic penetration, and these boots provide a good amount of it at a relatively cheap price. Some of the weaknesses include it being more expensive than the other boot choices, it provides no durability, and no extra movement speed compared to the other boot choices. Overall, Sorcerer's Shoes should be bought when you're an AP Mage that doesn't need any other durability or stats from their boots other than pure magic damage enhancement, and your main priority is to be doing damage to squishy enemy targets. And that's it for the Boot Items edition of the Support Items series. If you're interested in watching the other videos in the Support Items series when they come out, check this video's description and click the link to the video you'd like to watch. If you're enjoying my content and want to consider supporting the channel, head over to my Patreon. There you can enjoy perks such as early releases of some of my videos, having me look at your OP.GG and giving you suggestions, and having your name shout out at the end of my videos like these lovely people here who are already contributing to the channel. If you'd like to watch a high elo support player teach and show you how to play the role properly while answering your questions live in game, join me on my Twitch. Streams are scheduled on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7pm to 10pm Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I feature support focused League of Legends content on a weekly basis that you might very well enjoy. Please leave a like on this video so it helps me out tremendously and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button to keep up the latest content that I release. Rather than that, you have yourself a great day today. Thanks much.